to do the invocation. Now the invocation is a bit like thought for the day. And if I may, I'd like to share that with you. Because we were at that conference, another year, another conference, another opportunity to celebrate the skills of all our members in the district islands. And remember, there's another conference next year, another contest, and because you're a recently chartered club, every one of you is entitled to take part. Any one of you could be the next international speaking champion. So bear that in mind. What I said to these people is, we are at this event not because we're important, not even people with dangly things like this, but because we're useful, because we're dedicated, because we're part of a team. And in fact, all of us here are part of the team that makes Division E successful. And it's successful because we're passionate about what Toastmasters can do for people. And we've all heard people, we've all seen people, shy people, slip into the back of a meeting and then see them a few months later in charge of the meeting. We've all heard stammerers speak confidently and clearly. And sometimes people come up to us and say things like, I've got the job. Or that presentation at work went really well. Or even, she said yes. <laughs> And then they come up and say, I couldn't have done it without Toastmasters. And that sort of thing is what makes it all work life. Fellow Toastmasters, Isaac Newton said, if I have seen further than others, it is because I am standing on the shoulders of giants. And every one of us, we are all standing on the shoulders of giants. The club committee, the area, the division council, the executive. And from that position of strength, we can see further and forward and we can recognise that there are challenges and changes ahead, but we are equal to those challenges. We know that we will overcome the difficulties, the disagreements, because we're all committed to ensuring that every Toastmaster gets the very best Toastmaster experience, and that we're going to share the Toastmaster experience with as many people, many new members as we possibly can. The Haymarket Toastmasters is evidence of exactly that. So now you should give everybody a big round of applause just for that. We have some awards. At the end of the conference, there's a thing called the Hall of Fame. And what happens is the immediate past president honours those people who have helped him to run the division for yet another successful year. Now, not many people, well, not all the people, I'm afraid, are here now. But I'd just like to mention and honour them. And at the moment, I'm going to ask Jim to accept the certificates on their behalf because they're based up in the north of Scotland. First of all, the Namara Guraswami DTL gets a certificate for achieving President's Distinguished Division. Secondly, Namada gets a certificate for increasing the number of clubs in Division E by three. Now I feel a bit smug actually, because you've already increased Scotland by two. Last week, no, this very week, Hull got its 20th member, so we already have three clubs we're halfway through the year. So, watch out for that. <laughs> and then, of course, there is Gilda Westerman, who was Area 43 governor last year, and she achieved Select Distinguished Area. And the final one, the most important one, of course, is another Select Distinguished Area, and that was for Area 30. And last year, of course, your governor was Eugene Tay. So, he at least covered exactly. I wish you all a calm sea and a prosperous voyage.